Welcome back everybody. This is Andy from Experimental Human. This is part six of our solar heater project. This is where we start testing our system and see how it performs. Since our last video, we've now spray painted the final heat pipe in our array of four, and we've now put foil backing inside all of the mineral water bottles. We've put all the modules together and we've tested it for leaks and we've connected it all together and we've connected up to a bucket in the hope that we're going to get a thermal siphon system running. At this point everything was working really well. We had over 30 degrees in our bucket and then disaster struck. The bucket started leaking, I tried to move the system and I broke the whole thing. So at this point I decided that I'd better just isolate the system and just keep monitoring, see what happens and we've got some results to discuss. I added some temperature probes to the system so that I could measure the temperature of the first heat pipe in the system as well as the temperature of the water inside the water manifold. So as we look at the graph we can see an initial blip on the system um, as the sun comes up and then as the sun strikes the system the system starts to warm up considerably. It was at that point that um, I then filled the system and you can see as the system is filled the temperature drops back down again and then topped up the system to get rid of some air locks which caused the system to cool down once again and then effectively the temperature of the system starts to rise quite nicely. It was thereafter that I had the bucket disaster and you can see that I isolated the system and at this point no water is circulating and the heat pipes start to operate in isolation and the manifold whilst it has water in it nothing is circulating so um, it cooled down initially as the system drained out and then effectively starts to warm up again. It's at that point that you can then see how good um, the heat pipes actually work um, getting up to over 60 degrees centigrade inside the mineral water bottles with foil and the manifold getting all the way up to 47 and a half. Later on in the afternoon, it's around about 1.30 here in the UK, the system goes into shade because of the way that I've got facing and you can see the system starting to cool down. I grabbed a new bucket, connected the hoses and reconnected it up to the system so we're good to go, we can make some more measurements. On this graph we focused in between sunrise and sunset, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock in the evening. As the sun strikes the system just after 10 o'clock we can see that both the heat pipe and the manifold start to warm up. The heat pipe then cools down again slightly as the thermal siphoning starts up again and we can then see that the temperature then increases and we can see it going up and down a little bit as the thermal siphoning through the system starts to work properly. Ultimately we end up with a manifold temperature, water output from the system around 42 degrees centigrade and water coming in at 33.4. So all told we're looking at around about 9 degrees centigrade uplift in temperature across the system. Just after 1 o'clock in the afternoon the system goes into shade and as a result of that the heat pipes start to cool down and you can see the temperatures starting to drop down. After the system's gone into shade at around about half past one, the water entry temperature just flattens off and thereafter I'm not entirely sure what's happening. It'd be great to have your feedback as to what you think is going on at around about half past two where it looks like the temperatures are flipping and the delta between the water entry and exit temperatures seem to reverse before they cool down. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Please come back to me with any comments or suggestions.